Hey, happy Monday, everybody. Just wanted to go ahead and get on here. Again, I'm doing my weekly Monday market updates, real estate update for Kitsap County. I'll give a couple seconds here for maybe some people if they want to hop on here. So definitely enjoyed the weather this weekend. It was awesome. I hope everybody got a chance to get out there and enjoy it. As far as summer is concerned, I'm like, bring it on. I love summer. I can't wait. Um, so for us, for our family, our favorite thing, of course, during the summertime is we love to get our boat out on the lake. And uh, so looking forward to uh, some outings this summer with that. So if you want to comment in the comment below on what your favorite activity for summer is, that'd be great. I'd love to hear from anybody and all of you guys um, what you like to do for your summer activities. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and just kind of break down some activity that we've seen in the last week in the Kitsap County area. And again, I'm just kind of doing selected cities <clears throat> for Kitsap, kind of giving you guys... <clears throat> excuse me, just kind of an overall kind of picture of what's happening in North Kitsap, um, Central Kitsap, and of course, um, South Kitsap. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in and kind of share with you again what's happened in the last week. So I'm going to start again with Port, Port Orchard. So in the last week, you guys, we have had, um, we had 24 listings last week that sold. We've had 18 this week. Um, so a little bit of a decrease there. Pending in the last week, we had um, went from 12 down to 7 this week. And new active listings that came on this week is also down. We have 26 this week, new active listings in Port Orchard, and we're 32 um, the week before. So Bremerton, let's talk about Bremerton. Bremerton, we are sitting at 15 active listings that have sold in the last seven days. We've had eight that have gone pending, so eight are under contract. And we have had 18 active new listings come on for the Bremerton area. Now let's talk about Silverdale. <clears throat> Silverdale, we have had five um, listings that have sold, six that have gone pending, and we have six that are actually brand new listings in the Silverdale area. Paul's Bow, so we're talking about North Kitsap. Paul's Bow, we've had six listings that have sold. We've had five that have gone pending under contract. And we have 12 new listings um, in Paulsbo in the last seven days. So it's seen a little bit of an uptick in active listings in Paulsbo. Now countywide, we were at 534 active, new, uh, active listings countywide for last week. We're at 532 for this week. And again, this is um, residential, single family uh, residents. And it's really going to be interesting to see what happens um, with our median, ho median house price where it comes in at the month of, for the month of June. Um, the prices definitely tend to be trending upwards for our area still. And of course, we're still sitting at 12 days for the average time a home sits on the market. So things are definitely still moving very quickly in our local market. And I just got news that Freddie Mac, <clears throat> an average on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage, is sitting at 3.812%. So that is close to a two-year low on the percentage rate, you guys. So with that being said, I'm going to say it again. With interest rates being this low, it, now is a great time to buy. And if you see something that you like, you definitely don't want to sit on it and wait as things in our local area are still moving, again, very, very quickly. And you want to make sure that you're working with an agent that knows how to draft up a very strong and competitive offer on your behalf because we're still seeing multiple offers um, on homes uh, price in the lower price range. And it's helpful to have a good lender also in your corner that you're easily, able to easily communicate with and that can you know, move quickly for you. And I, again, I work with several different lenders should you need one, just let me know. And as, as I shared with you last week, um, due to the market that we're in, it's really, really important, I'm gonna say this again, it's really, really important that you know exactly what your wants and needs are before you start the home shopping process. Now I use a system with all of my clients that helps them to easily be able to identify what those are what those are because wants and needs you guys are entirely two different things and when you go shopping for a home you have to know what you're willing to compromise on and what you're not willing to compromise on and you also have to be realistic and my buyers know that they have found the best house for their wants and needs because of the process that I use with every single one of my clients now if you guys would like more information on that let me know I'll be happy to share it with you if you have any questions or you think about buying or selling, um, reach out to me anytime. I'm here to help. And as always, I'm going to share the link to my ultimate uh, buyer's guide for you guys to download. It uh, has some great content on buying a home. It's an easy read. There's a lot of moving parts when you're buying a home and a lot of people involved. Plus, you don't want to you know, buy what we call a property lemon. My guide help takes... My guide helps take the confusion and overwhelm out of the process for you. So, and it could, you know, it could also potentially save you guys thousands of dollars. It's free for you to download. And that's my Monday market update for Kitsap County this week, you guys. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Again, I'll go ahead and 
post the uh, link to my buyer's guide down below. And again, I'd love to hear from all of you. What's your favorite summer activity for the summer coming up here, guys? And I will definitely be back um, next Monday. Have a great week, you guys.